Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Papa Porce here, playing some more Guild of Engineering. Well, quite unexpectedly, I ended up doing a lot of good work with the Apprentice, and this one has some pretty cool battle scars, so I'd like to see if we can evolve them. Let's try to destroy the Evil Lich. I believe there's a time limit on this one, but if I can get a similar set of equipment to last time, I should be in pretty good shape. So this is an interesting one. The Lich is... I think in this treasure chest? No, below the treasure chest. And I believe this means you have to get to him in 10 turns or you lose. Now, this one is half-baked, meaning that he's missing some hit points, and frail means that any incoming physical damage deals an extra damage. So if you were going to be a strategic player, you would actually try to pick up some physical damage cards or play a character that has a non-zero number of incoming physical damage. Uh, sorry, a non-zero number of physical damage cards. I will do neither of those things. We're just going to go full magic and see what happens. So, did we get lucky here with our starting cards? No, not even remotely, because there's no way to connect to this juicy chest over here. And there's, I mean, none, neither of these even points in the other direction, in the correct direction. So what I'm going to do is put that there. And we're going to fight the Ooze. The Ooze has seven hit points, but the Mundane trait is kind of like the magic version of the Frail trait. So incoming magic damage gets a one attack bonus. And since all of my magic damage cards, or all my damage cards are magic damage cards, I'm pretty happy about that. So I am using my Zap here, but I figure I'm probably not going to... What the hell is this crap? I'm probably not going to need that, that, that quickness to beat this thing. Although, who knows? Okay, let's, that's actually really good I drew the extra cards because I got to block the healing and do two damage thanks to the mundanity of this guy and the fire blast thanks to the mundaneness of the ooze will kill it. Okay, so anything good here? Oh god, I don't want to take any more stupidity. I already have a stupidity. This now adds two, this, this means I will now have two stupid cards in my deck. Oh lord, okay, we'll take the fork to avoid stupidity. I already got one, I don't want any more. This guy has two battle scars, right? Yeah, the early stage paranoid and the early stage punch drunk. I'd love for that punch drunk to evolve. Um, okay. Well, let's do some math here, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I get there. All right, that's fine. So we're gonna connect like so and like so. And we're going to fight a rat man. And we're going to get here in one turn because this is not a fog of war space. So make sure that when you're doing your countdowns for these levels with a time limit, you keep in mind that if you pass through a previously passed through square, you actually move an extra square. Basically, your character has a movement speed of two as long as he's not moving through fog of war. It just so happens that he pretty much always moves through fog of war, which might make you think that he has a movement speed of one, but it's actually two. I'm going to draw cards there because... Uh, why would I do that? Because I'm dumb? It might be because I'm dumb. Um, so if I do this, and he draws a three da or two damage card, I won't kill him. But if I draw Zap, I will kill him. And I can always block his attack thanks to my built-in Battle Scar Repel that he just made me discard. Uh-oh. Am I going to lose here? Whoo, that was lucky. So my Hug in a Bottle saves me. Whew. Close call. Okay, anything good here? Is this good? Right, it's giving me fire. This is growth and armor. Hmm. So now my armor two, thanks to my built-in armor one. And that's actually not a bad choice. I'll take the cooking pot though. Let's go for fire. I do have one built-in fire because I'm the apprentice. So getting another one seems like a decent plan. Okay, so we have a choice here, whether we fight someone on the treasure chest or after the treasure chest. And you know what? I think I'd rather fight after the chest. There's going to be like two more level three enemies to fight, so it's not like going to be that difficult to get these fights later. Let's do this to connect up to that chest up there. And I will put an enemy here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. What is this? Is this surrounded by five tiles? I think that's what it is. Let's make sure to surround that shade with some extra tiles at some point. Yeah, let's just do it right now. And then give it a hit point penalty. And I need to get some, oops, I need to get some gold to make sure that, that my hero goes up to that shade instead of over to the lich. Okay, very lucky pickup here. We got the wing staff, just from a chest that was sitting around. 
None of this stuff is what I want in my life. Although, actually, this is... Wait, Warhorn has fire? Oh, yeah, this is actually fine. Shoot. Oh, God, that's actually good, too. Because it gets me up to Ignite. Hmm. Okay, no, I'm going to do this. This is a long-term play. Eventually, I'm going to be happier with that than with the Warhorn. Okay. Do I want to fight an extra level 3 before I start fighting these sorceresses? Shade is pretty tough with that tenacity. But it does have the Night Owl penalty. So... Oh, I can't... Oh, crap. I can't actually... Can I? Nope, I can't actually put any more tiles adjacent to it. Ooh! Wait, no, I can. Up here. Ha, huh, okay. So let's do that. Let's, um... Put this corridor here. And that should cost it one health because it has one, two, three, four, five tiles. Okay. So yeah, the tenacity you have to be a little bit careful because if you are a character that focuses around doing big damage, the tenacious ability can really screw you up. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here and just draw cards. I've got some good cards in the deck. I am missing out on one damage, but I'm hoping that the card draw benefits me more than the damage. Ugh. Crap. This is awkward. So I do damage. I'm going to take the slow approach. I will take one damage and do one damage instead of taking two damage and doing two damage because I'm health behind. In fact, here, I am just going to pass the round and have neither of us do anything. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm hoping to get ahead by other means. Let's draw a card and take a damage. I have that heal block in my back pocket. Now this you have to be careful with because it doesn't kill it unless it's at one hit point. And awkwardly, I can get it down to two, but not down to one. Hmm, should I block this? Let's block it and heal for one and then do two damage. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. Okay. Let's do one damage. Oh, God. Well, I died. Maybe there's some way to do this, but sadly my repel does not block this curse. And it is over for this apprentice. Oh, so many battle scars gone to waste. Bye-bye, punch drunk and paranoid and all that stuff. Uh, so the punch drunk thing, it adds a stupidity to your deck, but if you evolve it, it makes it so that stupidity cards are like the chump's cower. They block one of either physical or magical, which is surprisingly useful. So it's kind of a nifty battle perk to have. Well, as it is, let's go ahead and try that mission again with the bruiser. If I could have beaten that enemy, I might have just been off to the races. Because I would have leveled up to four. And often if you level up to four, you're kind of home free. Alright, this is actually a pretty decent start. So we can connect up to... I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. I meant to take this thing and put it there. And then use this thing and put it there. Oh my lord on a pony. Well, hopefully it won't matter. <laughs> hopefully we can just um, level up and draw a connecting upward card next round. Hopefully. If I don't for like five rounds straight, I'm going to really laugh about my decisions. All right. This is... Is this the one that's bad for the bruiser because it doesn't it doesn't have any physical damage? Yes. This, these are the bad ones. Yes. These are terrible. The bats. Luckily, thanks to Hug in a Bottle, um, I should just be able to do one damage. Uh-oh. I did not draw my magic block, so I actually fall behind by one here. Okay, there we go. Last card in the deck. So now, as long as he doesn't have any more drains, I can just kill it. Yes, perfect. Yeah, this, these bats don't have any physical attacks that are blockable. So it's hard for the bruiser to use his best card. Okay, nothing good here, sadly. Um, I don't want that. And I don't think I want this either. I just never want that troll femur. So we'll take a growth one for a magic damage and a heal, even though it's not the most exciting thing. And please give me a connecting card up here. I only got one card, and it's a connecting card! Okay, we're going to roll the dice here. If this is a bad fountain, I'm going to fight a level 3 with a negative effect. Oof, okay. What is this now? Ah, heal 1 per damage blocked. Perfect. I am going to fight a Knoll there. And should I fight anything here? I'll... Fine, we'll fight a spider there. I should be able to beat a spider because all my damage is physical and it's got frail, so it takes an extra damage from all incoming physical attacks. Um, the item I get from the spider is obviously not going to be a long game item, but maybe it'll help me beat that null. And in the short term, it'll prove its usefulness. Okay, 
Thanks to Frailty, the one physical damage turns into two, and this spider dies. So it's a very easy fight there. Now, Cup Us Fire 1, Growth 1 Swift, and I really don't want the Swift, but the Growth Extra is nice. Hmm. What am I currently... I have a head thing. Let's go ahead and start the fire. Okay. It's a bit of a shame I got the Warhorn, which is also an offhand, so it takes over my cup. Arcane 2 is good. Arcane 1 with a health is good. This is actually all pretty good stuff. Let's grab the health bonus. Because I really, 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 really want to beat this knoll, level up to three, get a good fountain, kill that sorceress, and level up to four. If I can do that, I think I'm going to be in really good shape. So I wanted to draw a card there instead of blocking this, because um, I want to have this left over in case I need it for something bigger like this. This is actually fine. So he has fury, but I'm dropping him down to two health, so he only gets one fury attack as long as I can deal two damage to him, which I can't. Um, but we can heal up one of these two damages he does me, and then next turn he's not going to deal five damage, so I win. Probably. Blorp. No spiky because of the fury, but he dies. Okay, so now I'm in pretty good shape. I don't want to do that. This is fine. I want to get up to fire two and get an extra block one physical, deal one physical. Okay, so I'm at level three. I... We'll take a little bit of a risk. Actually, wait, am I seeing a blue line going up to this chest? Oh, okay, so I don't need to put an enemy here. Apparently my guy is going for that chest. So I'm just not going to place anything. We'll let him just go up and get that chest and then come down and fight the Lich. Alright, well, we do two and she does two. But we have a health advantage of what? It's a one health advantage, so as long as I stay ahead, I'm good. Now, I chose that instead of my Flame Lash, because in case we get down to it, the speed of that Flame Lash might matter. Like, it doesn't. if I end up playing both cards, it doesn't actually matter what order I played them in, except that the Flame Lash going quickly might make a difference at the very end. All right, I've got the Fountain, so it's not really a scary thing here at all, is it? Well, any hoodle, let's um, just do a damage. And then next turn, Flame Lash kills her. The Fountain is the one that heals you for every damage block, so it's going to be a very easy fight regardless. Since as the Bruiser, I have both physical damage or physical damage blocks and magic damage blocks. This is a really nice pickup. So the Masquerade Mask is a little bit of an upgrade versus my helmet. The Flintlock, however, gets me up to level 4 fire. The Fury is not super irrelevant because as the Bruiser here, I am starting out with physical attacks. So it is possible that... I actually benefit from Fury. Remember, Fury makes it so that if you have half of your health remaining or less, your physical attacks gain plus one damage. Okay. Well, let's draw a card. I could have done the block too, but I know that these things have magic damage to attacks that are worth blocking. Early Ignite is nice, and I think at this point I've pretty much won the fight. So now she'll take one damage every round, and I've got, you know, blocks for days. I actually don't even need to block this Fireball because Flame Lash kills her next turn, unless she has a magic to block, which she doesn't. So, get lashed, sorceress lady. Okay. So, armor all the, day, all, the, all the days. Pretty sure these are all better than my current armor, which is one health arcane one. This is one health armor one, which is actually not that impressive. Two health armor one. Well, that's definitely better, isn't it? Now, wait, are these the same? They're the same thing. They're both body three. This is armor 1, 1 health. This is armor 1, 2 health. What the hell, man? And then this is growth 2, 1 health. Now, that's interesting. I'm actually going to take the growth 2. Because it gives me some healing. And yes, the blocking cards could be good, but I don't remember the Lich having that many physical attacks. I will fight a Scorpion. I think I could still improve my equipment. In fact, I'm going to take a bit of a risk even and fight the Shade as well. I need to put one more map piece down so the Shade gets a penalty. But, um... The reason for this is I want to try to find something better for my offhand, because right now my offhand is actually a level one item. It's a kappa, which is just fire one, and I can definitely get better things than that. So we drew Ignite. It sucks we didn't draw a block for that restore, so um, I'm going to take one damage and deal one, but then this, the scorpion heals for two, so it's a good thing that he's burning. 
This is a good block to the head blow, so I keep a card, do a damage, block a damage, and do an extra damage. Now the scorpion's basically toast. In fact, he is toast, because I deal two and he burns for one. Yeah, it's a really big swing whether you draw Ignite early or later, but you know, you gotta give yourself chances to get lucky, and sometimes you will get lucky. Okay, this is kind of weird, because these are all great. The Winged Staff is really good. I don't want to replace the fire, but the heat, the heater shield, I'm actually already at fire four. So um, that's one of those combos I mentioned before that the heater shield gives fire two, and then the flintlock gives fire two. So now the fire given to me by my cooking pot is actually wasted. Okay, well, what that means is I could take a risk. Oh no, I don't need to take a risk. Okay, I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to see if my hero is actually willing to wander around the lich and get to use extra fights to try to get something better for my head. See, so complete in four turns. One, two, three, four. I think that should work. Uh, barrel should be pretty easy. Although I'm not sure if I'll be able to move my hero away from fighting the lich next turn. Ugh, that's an awkward opening hand. Remember, this thing is tenacious, so you have to be a little bit careful about it. Um, that sucks. I could not block the curse. I do have a card that will block it. Luckily, though, I heal for two, so I don't take any damage. Okay, so I'm getting blocked here no matter what. Might as well not use the better of the two cards. Lord on a Pony. So again, I'm taking a damage and not dealing any damage. Oh my lord. So again, I'm taking a damage <laughs> and not dealing any damage. So my health advantage has been rapidly dwindling here. I finally deal a damage and take a damage. But it's getting pretty scary. Oh, there you are, Ignite. Finally. Okay, so now it's going to burn and I can actually kill it because we discovered that apparently if you start with two and you burn for one and you're tenacious, it does not count for some weird reason. That was way scarier than I thought. This is an amazing pickup now because I can replace that useless fire with some actual good cards. Two holy and one arcane is really great. And what do we got here? Well, the conch would have been good earlier. I lose my fire to get all the arcane, which is, you know, kind of an equal trade-off. I don't want to go up to the growth. I actually would like that holy card and I'd be willing to saddle myself with the growth card to take that you know, two block any, and then heal two if you block two. But I don't want to lose the Firestorm and the health, so we'll just take the Heater Shield for the instant gold. And at this point, if I end up going down to the Lich, that's fine. I could have taken money and tried to get my hero to go around the Lich, but I think I can actually just kill the Lich. It's hard to get better equipment than what I've got right now. Okay, well, he is frail. So, uh, and half-baked means if you fight him later, he'll actually have two extra hit points. Let's go ahead and oi him. It's two damage, which is totally fine. And I think I can get a better use for the Holy Seal later. Not here, though. Let's just uh, take a damage and do a damage. I'm a little bit behind on the health fight, but I've got really good stuff. Sadly, I did not find my starting Bruiser Block 2 card. So, I take one and he takes... He actually healed for one there. Okay, I'm going to block this healing. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk because um, it's possible I could have used that to better effect later, but I wanted to get it in now. And also, I was starting to fall behind on health. I'm actually still behind on health. Okay, this is awkward. I could block this, but I know he's got better cards. So let's just do a few. Oh, my Fury's turned on. Hey, look at that being not irrelevant. Oh, this is a really nice turn. I'm blocking his magic damage, doing one for being spiky, and doing an extra two magic damage, which goes over his physical resistance and apparently kills him. Nice. All right, so we got that done. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. We're veteran. Start with Blade 1. I'm not that excited about it, but the good news is... I think with that gold reward, we can actually get a tier 2 class. I was not saving for it, it's just there was nothing else I wanted to buy, and yes, next time we'll be playing with the Barbarian. I'll see you again soon, everybody. Take care.